everyone. It's the 1st of May. So let's have a look and talk about April. April was not a really good month for me. As I told you in my video what I've been doing lately, I have to look for a new job. And so life has been busy the last few weeks. I haven't been really concentrated and not getting a lot of things done. We also talked about movies a little bit because I had been watching a lot of movies. I know that I don't mention particular movies, but I kind of watched about 50 movies already this year. So it's hard to keep track on that, but you can follow me on letterbox.com if you want to know what I've been watching. Apart from that, I really enjoyed our discussion about the difference between the idea of something and the reality of something. And it was very interesting to see what you like the ideas of. Thank you very much for sharing that. And of course, thank you very much for all your nice comments to my letter to April. I really appreciate that. On the bookish side, not a lot of things happened on my channel this month. We talked about naked heart bags and whether we like them or not, where they come from, and I really like your theory. So if you want to know some more, go check the comments. They're really worthwhile. Yeah, and when it comes to reading, I didn't really read a lot. I have not finished any audiobook at all. I'm still listening to Leviathan Wakes and I'm enjoying it. But yeah, I hope to finish it in May. And the only proper review I put up is for Science Preceding the End of the World by Yuri Herrera, which is a novella and it was translated by, I forgot the name. But anyways, it's a very good novella about this young girl going from Mexico to America to find her brother and about her adventures and her perspective, how she sees her home country, how she sees America and the story of immigrants and all these things and I really enjoyed it. It's very short. It's very, very well done. And the translation is addressed in the end of the novella, like the difficulties and what the translator did. And that really helps you understand a lot more. But that is not the only thing I read in April. I also read Coriolanus by Shakespeare and I read the Oxford Shakespeare because it had a lot of analysis and introduction to it. And it was a lot of background information, which helped me understand and appreciate the play a lot more. And I had I had not heard of this before, but I really enjoyed it. And then I watched the screening from the National Theatre with Tom Hiddleston and I really liked the adaptation and it was very well done and it really helped to read this before. So if you have a chance to see it, pick up the book before, get familiar with the story. It just makes the play a lot more fun. And I also reread another Discworld novel, Lords and Ladies, which is another one in the Witches storyline. And it's all about elves and life in Lankra. Yeah, I'm going to put up a review tomorrow. You should definitely read this book and get started on the disc world. I'm just lacking words today. And that's just it already. Let me know how your April was. I hope a lot better than mine. May is going to be great. I just wrote some goals for May and I think I need a lot of discipline to reach them, but I need to be more disciplined anyways. And I definitely want to read more books. Thank you all for watching and let's talk April and Yeah.